You're watching Tag TV. India is well known around the world owing to its historical background, diverse cultures and interesting traditions. Its ancient scriptures and texts have been the way of life of its people for thousands of years. Today, the country is taking huge strides in the fields of science and technology, paving a way towards a progressive India. So friends, I'm your host Surabhi Sharma and today in our episode of My India, we will take a look at some of the stories that very well showcase the unique culture and prosperity of a country stretching from Himalayas to Kanyakumari. Being an agrarian society, India celebrates a number of harvest festivals that form an integral part of the country's cultural legacy and over the centuries they have evolved in various forms. Onam, the biggest harvest festival of Kerala that marks the homecoming of a mythological character, King Mahabali, was recently celebrated with great enthusiasm across the state. Colourful processions wrapped in the richness of traditions and customs swept across the streets of Kerala as it celebrated its most auspicious Onam festival. In the Kochi city of the state, a rally was taken out in which people dressed up in different mythological characters became the center of attraction. Dancing to the beats of the drums and performing as per their characters, they beautifully showcased the rich culture of the state. Today, you can see that uh, the whole traditions of Kerala come alive over here. And uh, in this uh, rally that is going to be taken uh, starting now, there is a full participation from all quarters of the society. Irrespective of caste and religion, Malayalis come united for this celebration. And this is the biggest message of Onam. Immense enthusiasm was also witnessed in the capital of state, Trivandrum, where people, especially small girls, took to the traditional ritual of laying pukalam, the floral carpet made out of gathered blossoms, which is also symbolic of coming together of hearts in society. Decked up in traditional attires, they even performed a thachamayam, a traditional folk dance, which is one of the main highlights of Onam festivities. On the last day of the festival, also known as Thiru Onam, people thronged the nearby temples to seek blessings and indulged in the scrumptious feast called Sadea. On the Thiru Onam day, we wake up, we uh, design the Pukalam, which is the floral decoration that we do in, the, in front of our homes. Uh, then we visit all the nearby temples. This is the ritual that we follow. And now we'll be going back and then we'll be preparing our feast, which is called Sadhya. Celebrated in the Malayali month of Chingam, which falls in August, September, Onam takes its story from the tale of King Mahabali, known to be one of Kerala's greatest rulers because of his generosity and kindness. It is believed that the growing power of the King Mahabali even threatened the lords who approached Lord Vishnu for help, who then incarnated as Vamana, a dark boy, confronted the king and asked for three footsteps of land to which he obliged. But then, Vamana covered everything Mahabali ruled over in just two steps. The king offered his head for the last step that pushed him to the nether world. Pleased with his generosity, Lord Vishnu granted him a boon that he can visit his people once, every year, and this revisit marks the 10-day festival of Onam, 
which even today has maintained its prominence and is observed with huge pomp and show across the state. The festivals in India do not just offer a temporary reprieve from the daily grind but also serve as a medium to bring people close to each other, no matter which caste or community they belong to. This bond of religious harmony was recently witnessed at a village in Karnataka where Ganesh Chaturthi and Muharram were observed in the same compound by both Hindus and Muslims. Take a look. At one side where Ganesha idol was enshrined, on the other side, Muharram's Panje, also known as protective hands, were placed in the same pandal at the Bidnal village of Karnataka's Hubli district. Presenting a perfect example of communal harmony, both the Hindu and Muslim community of the village did these arrangements with an effort to keep the peace and brotherhood maintained among themselves. Moreover, they even decorated the whole pandal with several pamphlets and pictures that carried a message of universal brotherhood. I Ganapati or Muram. दोनों मिला के एक ही पंडल में मना रहे हैं कि बोले तो हमें आप साथ में अब जो आजकल जरूरी है हिंदू मुस्लिम वगैरह वैसा रहता वो मामले में क्या है हमें ये संदेश देना चाहते हैं ऐसा एक ही पंडल में प्यार और मोहब्बत ऐक्यते ऐसा हमें मनाने का अब संदेश देते हैं This was not for the first time when both the communities of the village observed any festival together but this has been the tradition for years. Having a mixed population of around 4,000, the village people have always been known to maintain harmony and stay with each other in both good and bad times. Here is the place where the Muslims are in the house, the Hindus are in the house. They are in the house, the Hindus are in the house. They are in the house, they are in the house, they are in the house, they are in the house. और कौन से भी दांदे रमजान हर चीज़ दांदे दोनों को मिलकर काम करते हैं कौन सी इत्तेफाक नहीं है हिंदू मुस्लिम में ऐसा लगता है एक माह के पच्ची मिलकर ऐसा माहौल यहाँ का है हर काम ये दोनों मिलकर करते हैं अब एक तरफ अंजे है एक तरफ हमें फायदे देते हैं एक तरफ गणपति मंदिर है वो लोग फायदे देते जब भी जो है दोनों मिलकर हर काम करते हैं पूरे महीने से सच एग्जांपल्स शोकेसिंग इंडिया सेक्युलर नेचर कैन बी विटनेस्ड एवरी नाउ एंड देन इन आ कंट्री बट इट्स ड्यूरिंग द ओकेजंस व्हेन दिस ब्यूटीफुल बॉन्ड ऑफ फ्रेंडशिप अमंग ऑल फेथ्स गेट मच मोर स्ट्रेंथन Now a round up of some of the major stories that made news recently. Fishermen of Rameshwaram city of Tamil Nadu who venture to the seas almost every day in search of livelihood bring something else with them. Conch shells left behind by mollusks are often caught in the fishing nets. However, they are of no use in India for eating. Fishermen of southern India are now exploring an additional income opportunities with these conchs. Making art on the shells by painting and sculpting attracts a lot of tourists here to take them as souvenirs. Artists also make keychains and paperweights with it. It provides them an additional income during tourist season. Conch shells are also used in India as a musical instrument, especially during religious festivals and rituals. They are also used as decorative items in general. The fashion show was recently organized in the capital New Delhi for the differently abled children to promote inclusivity in society. The enthusiasm of the children was palpable during the event. They were dressed in colorful attires, including both Indian and Western, and confidently walked the ramp with some on wheelchairs. The participants were assisted by volunteers. 
as a country, I think we're doing very well having enacted the law and trying to sort of see that the rights in terms of their promotion, their preservation, and their enjoyment uh, becomes fully inclusive. Uh, we touch upon issues from inclusive education to accessible infrastructure, accessible transportation, accessible sort of uh, information communication technology platforms, so that everything uh, which is there in human existence must be universally accessible to specially evil persons. The show titled My India, My Pride was organized by a local non-governmental body in collaboration with Fashion Design Council of India. India is recreating the iconic Malgudi railway station from its internationally acclaimed television series, Malgudi Days, in Shivamogha district of Karnataka state. The railway station was featured as Malgudi station in a classic television series based in Karnataka during the late 1980s. So I am trying to recreate Malgudi right here, how it was done, what are the various elements that have to uh, that went into the creation of Malgudi. That is what I have tried to do. That so uh, it's very beautiful, and uh, this center should become a very important center because it contributed to the making of a national serial, which was acclaimed internationally. Malgudi Days was a television series adapted from the collection of classic short stories written by Indian writer R. K. Narayan. Both the television series as well as the book were acclaimed throughout the country for their gripping plot and interesting enactment by some of the celebrated Indian actors. Japan has continuously been coming up with new technologies to enhance the safety of its citizens. Recently, the Tokyo Metropolitan Government introduced water treatment measure to prevent any flood situation in the city. On the other side, Japanese company Casio was successful in drawing the attention of the visitors towards its G-Shock watches at an event in Vietnam. Tokyo has the highest density of population in Japan. The countermeasure against disaster is the most important task for the Tokyo Metropolitan Government. Recently, the countermeasure against typhoon or squall is being built to keep the city safe from natural disasters. Tokyo Metropolitan Government continuously monitors the situation in Tokyo and the safety of the city is its top priority. The camera is set up at 47 points of the river and the situation is observed all the 24 hours. The government monitors and analyzes data of rain gauge, water gauge and dispatches appropriate information to the citizens. Tokyo when the water level reaches to dangerous mark, the information is automatically dispatched to the Water Disaster Prevention Room. In that room, staff can watch the situation of the river through an observation camera. The government's Water Disaster Prevention General Information System can provide information both to the citizens and foreign tourists on the internet in various foreign languages. People can check the real-time image of the river and water level using the location of PCs and smartphones. The 
都市型洪水に対しまして、迅速な避難につなげるためにです、ね、雨や川の危険が迫る現状をインターネットでリアルタイムに住民の方へ提供する、このような情報システムの技術をです、ね、ゲリラ豪雨やスコールなどの水害に苦しむアジアの国々のご参考になれば幸いでございます。Tokyo will host the 2020 Olympics. Japan has a history of being a victim of natural disasters. The focus on disaster prevention technologies of Tokyo has increased owing to the attention the city will get from all over the world during the Olympics. Next, we take you to Vietnam, where pop music and sports are widely appreciated. Football too has become more popular with the success of the national team. Recently, Fan Festa was a friendly event held in Ho Chi Minh City and was organized by consumer electronics company Casio to celebrate dance, music, and sports. It highlighted Casio's G Shock watches, which were on display and for sale at the event. To prove Casio's G Shock watch's durability, visitors participated in multiple challenges, including finding a Casio watch in an icy water tank while being blindfolded, punching Casio's G Shock watch fixed on a punch cylinder, which is to be hit 20 times, and an obstacle course football game to shoot at another watch. Participants who completed the challenges received a commemorative bracelet and a lucky draw coupon. This event is so、uh, interesting, and today I'm very happy when I am、uh, attending it here. Many people spend their weekend at Fan Festa for entertainment and have fun with their family members. Because today is of my、uh, holiday of my family. Yes, because today is my、uh, her birthday. Yes, I'm very happy to enjoy as my event, event in here. Entertainment includes a freestyle football show. Kids participated after the show, learning the basics of football freestyling. Fans could also show appreciation for G-Shock on social media by clicking photos and using the Festa hashtag. We do a fan festa event because we, we would like to have new T-Shock fan, so the new T-Shock fan can play the game and、uh, experience of top of T-Shock,、uh, also some unique feature of T-Shock so that they can go home and tell their friend and family.、Uh, T-Shock is very popular right now in Vietnam, and it will become more popular because、uh, we have very a good relationship with Vietnam national soccer team. And then we will have a lot of event with them in the future. At night, the activities were replaced by a concert highlighting Vietnam's pop stars. We are so happy to be here, and we are so honored to be here.、Yeah. And、uh, after that,、uh, we have a night performance, and I, we will. We hope everyone will enjoy it. Through this event, G-Shock will be more popular in Vietnam for both young and adult men and women alike. Sufism has entrenched itself at the center of the cultural and spiritual life in India. The Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir serves as the richest reservoir of this tradition, and this can be well witnessed during the hours of Sufi saints in the region, when people cutting across religious lines gather under one roof. So, giving a glimpse of this unique devotional culture today, we take you to the hours of Baba Gulam Shah Badsha. That was recently commemorated in the Rajouri district. The picturesque district of Rajouri reverberated with verses with the Holy Quran, as it commemorated the urs of the revered Sufi saint Baba Gulam Shah Bacha. Cutting across religious lines, devotees offered their special prayers to the saint at his shrine, Shadra Sharif. Which was built in the 19th century by the Hindu ruler Maharaja Gulab Singh as a mark of gratitude towards the saint. Devotees took part in salutations, supplications, sermons, and night-long prayers, where Sufi scholars and imams threw light on the life, 
religious service, teachings and spiritual strength of the saint who devoted his entire life to serve humanity. जहां हर मजहब के लोग जो आते हैं हर बरादरी के जात के यहां कोई मजहब का और जात का मामला नहीं ये वली के दरबार का मामला है और इस वली के दरबार में इनको बादशाह का खिताब अल्लाह ताला ने عطا फरमाया बाबा गुलाम शाह बादशाह मेरे ये ईमान है कि यहां से आने वाला जो भी शख्स है जो भी मराद लेके आता है वो खाली जोली नहीं जाता अपनी गोलियां भर के जाते हैं Every year when Urs of the Saint is observed on the 9th and 10th of Muharram thousands of people from different parts of Jammu and Kashmir gathered at the shrine No matter which caste or community they belong to they not just pray together but even sit beside each other to have the community meals served during the Urs Several arrangements are also done by the administration to avoid any nuisance तकरीबन हजरत बाबा गुलाम शाह बादशाह रहमत आई को इस दुनिया से पर्दा किए हुए लगभग कोई तीन तकरीबन पौने तीन सौ साल हो गए हैं हजरत बाबा गुलाम शाह बादशाह रहमत आई जो मुल्तान से यहाँ तशरीफ़ लाए थे आप ये जगह का नाम सी दरा था जो बाबा गुलाम शाह बादशाह के कदम नाज पड़ने की वजह से ये सी दरा की जगह शाह दरा शरीफ बन गया और यहाँ की खास बात यह है कि यहाँ चौबीस घंटे लंगर चलता है और जायरीन के लिए बहुत ही आला किस्म का यहाँ पर इंतज़ामिया की तरफ से इंतज़ाम किया जाता है और यहाँ बहुत ही मतलब अच्छा इंतज़ाम है जो बहुत ज़्यादा काबिल तारीफ है With its eclectic emphasis on tolerance and peaceful coexistence, Sufism has been guiding the life of Kashmiris for nearly 700 years. And through these holy commemorations, it becomes clear that the lesson of humanity and compassion that was once propagated by the Sufi saint is still having its roots deeply embedded in the culture of Jammu and Kashmir. A picture is worth a thousand words as it can convey the meaning more effectively than a description does. There are so many alphabetical languages that have been discovered so far, but none of them could match the strength of visual language. Depicting the same power of the visual art and creating a space for photo lovers, a two-day long international photo contest and exhibition was recently held in the Siliguri district of West Bengal. Take a look. Putting the Indian culture and its traditions on canvas, the exhibition held at Ram Kinnar Hall in Siliguri drew the attention of several photography enthusiasts. Named as Exposure, a total of 179 pictures were put on display during the event based on different categories like wildlife, nature, street, landscape, portrait, global warming and wedding. Various amateur and skilled photographers from across the globe were provided a platform through this exhibition to showcase their talent. In Siliguri, you can see there are a number of exhibitions are happening, but in term of international exhibition, as such till date, this is the first one. Before today. no international level of exhibition happened in siliguri we have received submissions around more than 14000 from across the globe but due to space crunch and by filtering we have selected top 20 or for the top 30 for depends on the category and we have exhibited total 179 images over there organized for the first time in siliguri the exhibition had two sections one was inter school for up to 18 years old and another was open to all for above 18 years old all the photographs depicted a different vision and conveyed a deeper meaning making a visual treat for the art enthusiast of the city visitors mesmerized by the magnificent photographs appreciated the efforts of both the organizers and the artists एक्सपोजर इंटरनेशनल जो कॉन्टेस्ट हो रहा है ये फर्स्ट टाइम हो रहा है यहाँ पे इतना बड़ा इतना ह्यूज प्लेटफॉर्म तो कभी मिला नहीं सिलीगुड़ी में और बहुत अच्छा अच्छा यहाँ पे डिस्प्ले हुआ है इमेजेस तो हम लोगों को तो एक अपॉर्चुनिटी है ही 
प्लस हम लोगों का जो इमेजेस है वो भी शोकेस करने का एक बहुत अच्छा प्लेटफॉर्म है Art is the language of soul that enables people to express things that cannot be expressed in words. Such platforms not only provide the artists with a space to showcase their talent but also give them a chance to narrate various stories related with their surroundings. That's all we have for you this week. Your comments and suggestions are important to us. Do give us your feedback at suggest.myindia at gmail.com. I'm your host, Surbhi Sharma, and it's a goodbye from the entire production team.